Well, today's recipe is um, straight from a cooking website called No It's Not, and this is a smoked chicken quiche. So we're going to start off with uh, chopping some garlic, some red onion, some leeks, uh, combine that with some tarragon. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next stage. So there we have the leeks and the red onions all chopped up, all ready to go. I'm going to put them into a saucepan with some um, butter. There you go, about there. Um, and that will soften up um, the garlic, red onion, leeks and the tarragon before I put it into the bowl and then we'll start adding all the other ingredients. Now, I haven't got any smoked chicken, which is, this being a smoked chicken quiche, is quite important. But I've got a bit of a cheat here that you can use. Just, this is a chicken uh, breast that I've chopped up, and I've got some uh, paprika and some extra virgin olive oil. Um, I think what we'll do is a little grind of sea salt in there and then we'll put the chicken into there put it, pop it in the fry pan and sear it and use that instead all right now what I've done here is I've actually put the um, cream cheese uh, in with the leeks and uh, onions and garlic <coughs> And that's made an extremely yummy mixture, which I'm going to start spooning into my mouth if I don't get on with this. So the next part is the uh, chicken, uh, which we're doing now. And then after that, we've got the most exciting part that I don't like, <coughs> and that's um, putting on the phyllo pastry. Now I've used phyllo in this uh, recipe, um, as I've cooked it a few times before. And the phyllo just makes it very nice and light. Um, so it can serve as a brunch uh, as well as a lunch. Anyway, we'll be back. I'm going to do this phyllo um, to one side because I don't want you watching it. All you need to do is um, use about six, six or seven um, pieces and just brush it lightly with some uh, extra virgin olive oil. Um, as you're applying it um, so that it stays nice and wet um, and you'll be right and then we'll tip all the ingredients um, in. All right and here's the phyllo as you can see it's um, it's relatively easy to put on uh, as long as you don't as long as you don't film yourself doing it um, just get it into the corners there What you do is fold these over, and once you've got them, once you've got the mixture in there, okay. So there you go. That gives you some idea, anyway. Okay, now it's just the combining everything together. Um, that's the uh, the chicken, uh, the spinach leaves, um, the leeks, red onion, garlic, Philadelphia cheese. And then we're going to put these tomatoes on the top with a little sprinkling of grated cheddar cheese and some parmesan and, um, and then into the oven. But I'll put this together and then we'll come back. Right now it's some um, assembly time. Uh, <coughs> and we go with all the ingredients. And this has got the grated cheese in and it's also got a cup of milk in there um, and we'll just do that then we've got these halved uh, cherry tomatoes um, and they just oh they're beautiful what's they got well they're beautiful because <coughs> I've eaten at least a third of them so before they even got into the recipe uh, now you've got some, also some parmesan. Um, 
Beautiful. And some ground black pepper. And there you have it. Now it's going into the oven. Another thing, before you put it into the oven, just fold these into the middle. Just fold them over gently like that. <clears throat> and they will become all nice and crispy and beautiful throughout the cooking. Well, and there we have it. There's the quiche all cooked there. Um, what I will do is put um, a full list of the ingredients um, after the video. Um, when you do put this in the oven, by the way, put it at the bottom of the oven. And that way um, it'll be easier to get out um, of the quiche dish because it'll be um, nicely cooked on the bottom. Um, if there's anything you want to see uh, on this channel in terms of recipes, please put it in the comments and I'll catch you on the next recipe.